Hello everyone and welcome to FDJ Engineering. In this video we will link a CAD DWG file drawing into the Vera model and I'll do my best to best explain some options we have when linking a CAD file. Usually I work with an architect when designing a building or a house. The architect sends me his or her drawings and the first thing I like to do is set up the structural plans based on the elevations. For this video I just have level 1 and 2 structural plans. To link a CAD drawing we're going to go to the insert tab. Once you go to the enter tab, click on the link cat. The window is going to open and I have my plan set and ready to go to be linked. I'm going to click on the basement plan DWG file. As you can see, there is an overall view of the drawing in this little box on the right side of the window. There are also other types of formats we can use. However, for this video, we are just going to focus on the DWG file. In this drop down menu, we have colors. We have black, white, preserve, and invert. Preserve just keeps the same color of the layers from the CAD file to the ribbon model. The colors will look fine with a black background, however it looks harsh on, on the eyes with a white background. Next we have the invert option. For this option, the layer colors are going to be are going to change so it can look better on the white background. So originally you have different colors in the CAD uh, drawing, but then with the invert option it's going to change those colors. So it will just ease you on the eyes with the white background. Last, we have the black and white option. For this option, the color layers that are in the DWG file are going to become black in the, in the Vevert model. I usually use the black and white option. There is a reason why, but I will say the reason at a different video. CAD files are organized into layers. You can bring all the layers into the Vevert model or you can specify which layer you want to bring into the model. For units, we have all the standard measurement systems and Revit does a pretty good job auto-detecting the correct units. I usually leave the auto-detect option checked. Sometimes Revit will generate error messages when linking a CAD file. However, if you leave the correct lines that are slightly off axis checked, then that will help with the error messages, maybe even no messages at all. Next, we have the positioning dropdown. For this drop down we have options on how and where to place the DWG file in the level plan. First we have auto and manual and as the name implies auto just automatically puts the DWG file uh, within the level. You don't, you don't place it, it just does it for you. And for manual you place the drawing in the level plan. Uh, next to the auto we have center to center origin to origin and by share coordinates and for manual we have origin base point and center me personally I just I prefer using manual and I prefer using manual center just because I have the freedom to put the drawing wherever I want and I could always move it right after once I place it manually then I could always adjust uh, the drawing itself where it is located uh, right now I'm in level 1 and that means if I have the current view only checked then the drawing will be placed in level 1 because that's where I'm at right now and if I was a level 2 if I had that click and I have the current view only checked then the drawing itself will be placed in level 2 for this video we'll keep it uh, we'll keep the check view only the excuse me we'll keep the current view only checked now click open and the window will disappear and you will see the drawing. Now you have the freedom to place the drawing wherever you want. I'm going to place the drawing here. Now we have successfully linked the DWG file into the Vera model. With the architectural elevations and floor plans, we can, we can trace over the CAD drawings for the Revit and begin modeling and designing. Uh, thank you all. I hope you found this video informative. If you enjoy the video and learn something new, then please subscribe as I will continue to put new engineering videos. Thank you all and have a great day.